Um, this painting I wanted to experiment with, and I sort of already have experimented with, like, colorful backgrounds. I don't particularly like it. It is something that I've tried before with, I think, a different painting I have on here. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I think it's roseweed. No, it's not roseweed. Whatever, it's red. It's got a red background. And it's not the full painting because I couldn't figure out my setup and I was uncomfortable. So it's only a fragment of a time lapse. Um, but yeah, with this one, I thought I'd try it with this. And this is like, I don't know, it's very different. I feel like it's more surreal, abstract expressionist, you know, and I mean, whatever the fuck that means. But I think that's how you describe this in particular. Mm. This sort of just popped into my head, so it's not a super solid, conceptualized thing to talk about. But I don't think any of the subjects I talk about really are. Um, something that drew me to, like, sort of being an artist or, like, something that made me feel like being an artist was okay, even though I'm uncomfortable, like I said before, sort of with, like, the artist label. But it's sort of all I fucking do, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Which is okay, um, I guess. I thought that, like, being an artist was sort of, like, a non-discriminate sort of genre or like field to go into but I understand that that's sort of like I don't know I mean I still get I was coming from with that notion but at the same time like I don't think so everything is a bit like has is like sort of discriminant even if it's from the people within it or like the people outside of it you know like just like viewership or like people who make it what it is you know that is sort of like an inevitable aspect of anything but for me it was like you can't really define art you know like art is opinion and like opinions don't really mean anything but also they mean everything so it's like this is such an enigma fuck <laughs> such an ig I can't think of I can't tense it appropriately but it's like this is like a field of mm -hmm. enigma you know, enigmatic, is that, is that a word, is that a thing, um, but, like, when I was younger, that's how I had looked at it, that I'm like, oh, this is, like, such a free range and, like, unlimited space, and I wasn't intimidated by it, like, I thought that was, like, the beauty of it, it reminds me of, like, there's a Joss Stone song, um, from Introducing Joss Stone, which is the first album that she wrote, on, I believe, herself, um, though she co-wrote it, anyway, um, there's a song called Music, and she talked about, like, the beauty of music within, like, that song, being that, like, it's, it was endless, and it's very open, and that's essentially the same feeling that I had, but once you get there, you know that it's not, and it's, like I said, it's a combination of the people there and the people within it that can really, like, fucking ruin it for you, you know, whether it's, like, people that are trying to, like, profit it and, you know, industrialize it, which is, like, how a lot of things lose their humanity and goodness. And I think that's what I like in art is, like, the human aspect of it, you know, even if, like, it, var it varies so much, but it's, like, the emotive capacity within it and even... Though, like, visual arts, like, a lot of people just make visual art and stuff for fun. I think that there are people that make, like, really meaningful contributions. Even if it's, like, a happy accident, it can be, like, really powerful. I don't know. It's sort of like, like, pick your poison. Sort of piggybacking off of another, like, audio blip I have where I talked about, like, my interest in art and, like, and, like how I viewed, I guess, the art world. And how in a way I think I'm wrong, but in a way I think I'm right. And that was sort of like, I thought art was like sort of like a non-discriminative field. Which is a lie, you know? I mean, and it's not so much that art is discriminative. It's like the people within the art world and like art industries, I guess, are very discriminative. Which is, I guess, an artist attribute. Whatever, what the fuck. Anyway, um... I just with me, I, I've been feeling like very awkward to say the least. Um, well first posting these videos, like I said, the reason I started posting them was mostly because I felt like people were gonna say that I wasn't trying. 
that hard like I, I i don't know like a lot of people that i've shown or i've seen my work and stuff like they tend to say positive things but i'm like who who really says negative things to someone's face you know like oh your art's actually shit you know it, it makes no sense you know it's comical it's comical nobody nobody says that i mean they might think it they might turn and say it to somebody else you know um i met at like art review status and i was sort of prompted or like felt encouraged to do this video because i watched another video and it really reminded me of like this topic and like sort of like my own inner fear, I guess. It reminds me of a uh, Zeke's Lunchbox video too, where like she's crying and I'm like, energy. I don't know if that video is still, but it's just like, there's a lot of uh, stigma in different areas of art that make it like, I don't know, like make it really gross make it really hard to be in a good headspace as a like when you're creating like where is this coming from is this and this is this a direct response to this you know the sort of example i have in my mind is like i, I like to use singers as examples because i think they're easier than like uh like smaller people but like when a singer goes from making music about like their relationships and like you know like their day-to-day -day life to being like making music in response to like criticism about them then it's not them being an artist anymore it's them like feeding into like negative press and like negative media like i'm trying to think of a good example i don't know i can't think of any good scenarios that fit you don't like you want the artist to just be themselves and not be like I don't know it's just like it became everything became very muddied and it was really gross and I feel like in a way that sort of happened to me when I was doing a lot of like st art on social media I really felt like I really lost the connection to my art and though I'm not super connected to it because I I don't know it's just like ugh, ugh, sometimes I'm just like no I mean it does mean something to me but it's hard to describe <laughs> um but like with me, like even before I started like painting so heavily, I was always very uncomfortable with telling people that I did art because I was very worried about it. Like I remember having a conversation with like my pediatrician about like when I wanted to be an artist and like, oh, he's like, would you do like commercial art? Like, would you be a graphic design artist? And I was like, he's a doctor. I've had another instance with a different doctor that I was talking to. And I remember my mom was there and he was like, oh, he like, I told him, I was like, oh, I do art, like I paint. And then like, he turned and looked at my mom and I was just like, oh, I feel very invalidated. So, and then like within the art world, I have a different, like, it's like, I don't know. I don't know, like, I don't wanna, like, I, I wanna respect other artists' space and I hope that they respect mine, you know, like in that sort of sense. And I don't know, it's just created like an underlying anxiety for me of like making these videos and like saying things it just seemed like, I, like, part of me is like, this is good, this is great, this is, like, pushing comfort zones, this is what people have been telling me to do, but at the same time, I'm just like, I don't really fucking know. Um, you know, like, the thing about, like, the perception of the art world and, like, art being a non-discriminative thing, in a way, I, I agree that it is, but at the same time, like, I feel like, <sighs> I can't, I'm trying to figure out how to put it into words, like, I, maybe that was like I guess my my inner child's thoughts that like art is super non-discriminative and like I said I feel like it is but at the same time it isn't you know like some people for some people art should always be lighthearted and like fun and for other people art's always going to be like a heavy thing and even art that is light can be heavy you know like if it's created under like a certain thing and that's why I felt like I don't like I don't I don't criticize people that can do like commissions and such it's just something i know i can't do like it's really hard for me to create like it really it really um stifles me because i'm like i i i don't i don't know like i just couldn't do it i don't know like even i'm like i don't, I don't, I don't know so and that was sort of like a reason why i didn't go to art school this is like another sidebar type of thing because i'm focused sarcastic um i don't know like i feel like going to art school i would have regretted it. it would have been too much commitment you know to like something that is already like so uh 
I don't know, like, so stigmatized as is, like, oh, you went to art school, like, oh. But, um, I'm trying to figure, was there a point to this? I feel like this is every time. Every time I'm just like, what, what am I, what am I saying? What does this mean? What is the point of this? Ugh, I just, I don't know, like, I feel awkward, you know, like, I'm just, like, I just make so much, like, obscure shit all the time. And I'm just like... Can, can someone connect to this? Does this mean anything? Will it ever mean anything? I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't... I don't know how to describe it. Because I'm not trying to, like, it... I don't know. Like, there's, it's, there's more to it. But I, I don't... I can't articulate it. I'm just all over the place, really. I don't know.